when I've looked at punching over the years, I've always looked at what people can do. And it was simple how I saw it. If we look at body position, okay, this is sort of a natural fighting body position. If I'm talking to somebody like that and I'm going and I've got a power of strength, I'll move in left leg forward, can you see? So that step forward. If I'm talking to somebody and I take a step back, it's more defensive, isn't it? So we can go forward or back. Now if you look at a way of punching, if you look at my hand, okay, a bad, what I call a bad way of punching, is if I then push like a bad bench press out. If I actually push using the strength of my arm out, that's a bad way of punching. And the only time I ever do that is if I'm going to hit an idiot and I don't really want to get arrested, right? The bloke's gone for it and I think, bang. And in Japanese, I think they call that aguchi, like that, bang, like that. So that is a bad way of punching. A good way of punching is twisting your hips in, straight in. A good way. So you can now rotate that way. That's a good way. And interestingly, you can rotate that way. Now, in a street fight, we always hit with our best shot first. You don't do a setup punch. If you're going to pole at somebody, it's literally hit. Now, there's another thing that comes in with a punch. Good to step. Yeah. Good to and step. Your so your body weight comes in. Look at my step. And in, right? So from there, step and in and load up. Load up ready for the second one to come in. Now, when you punch, if you look at the curve of a punch, your punch must curve in like that. Okay, up and in. So you can curve that way or that way, straight down. So it's very, very important. So get your hips right, lead, step, hip. So it's quite mechanical. Step, hip. That's a street fighting punch. It's as simple as that. Your arm then follows everything else. Now if you get this connection right, one, two, bang, It'll work. I'll show you what I mean. Let's get a pad here. Look. Got a bloody headache, Dave. Insurance pad. We'll just start, if you just clear place, you just start putting it, put it on your chest first. Just I won't hit it hard. Step forward, right leg forward. Right, I won't hit it hard. Okay. Now, if you look <laughs> right that, it's from that position. Look at his body position. I know intuitively. I won't hit it hard. I know intuitively right that because of his body position just from there in a curve that will take him out can you see how I'm using the curve now if you hold that if we slip that on right and you leave it there look at your target position now look how I'm holding that pad I'm not getting the bloke to hold that pad, because if I'm getting the bloke to hold that pad there, it's going to encourage me to do that type of thing, okay? Which is fair enough, but it's encouraging me to use the muscle in my arm. That's it. However much I weight train and whatever train, that's always going to be a shit muscle. If I'm to hit that way, it's got to come down with my body weight. You can see, so if he stands there, comes there comes down with my body weight, so it's curving. Now, <clears throat> that's a straight front punch. There's only a couple of targets you want to actually hit on a straight front punch, really around the bridge of the nose or break the cheekbone. From there, put it there, for a street punch, it's there. It just comes round from there. So if you're going to pole axe somebody from there, and just throw that punch in. So again, watch my hips step. There. Now, the left one just come in. But if you catch on the first one, the, the left one's superfluous. The left one, he's going. The left one won't do anything because he won't be there. So when we punch, we punch hips that way, that way, and we punch, if we're punching front on, hips down like that. When we train, we train punching there, but when we train for fighting, we can just train with the hands up in that position, protecting your throat with your shoulder, hands in that position, and, then, and you use your body there. And you get used to stepping in and punching in. So I do a haymaker, he slips back and I'll miss. 
If I throw a punchline and he leans back, bang, I'll catch him straight through there. Now, <clears throat> often when I try and put them both up, all I do here is just practice, just quick there. <laughs> and just come through and walking round. That's all there is to street fighting.